Five Blog Post Best Practices Your blog plays an essential role in running a successful website. So, if you're a business owner, an influencer, or a professional who intends to keep your followers, customers, or audience, you'll have to keep them up to date with the latest developments about your products or services. Other than being able to establish yourself as a thought leader in your industry, it's also a good way for you to improve your SEO ranking and help increase traffic to your website, which should then lead to your desired results. But how exactly do you write a blog post that's engaging, informative, and SEO friendly? Check out these five best writing tips that our top scripted writers use when creating blog posts that stand out from the crowd. Create a great headline. Your headline should be clever and have the best play on words, but for it to be considered excellent, it should tell your audience what's in your blog in a few carefully chosen words. You're making a promise to your reader about what they're getting into. And it's a promise that you should keep once they're done reading. So if your headline is mostly a clever pun used to rope them in, but you fail to sum up what's in your content, then you'll quickly lose their interest. You want readers who are interested in your topic, so you have to make your headline crystal clear about what you're blogging about. The perfect headline should be simple, short, and to the point. For our second writing tip, the next best practice is for you to write what you know. It's a cliche, but it's said for a reason. Every time you write about something you love, you're more likely to write impassioned and energetic pieces that will naturally draw your reader in. It could be about your business or the products you offer, or if you're a professional writer, it could be the angle you choose when you're working for a client. Always look for an angle where your personal experience can help energize you while you work. The more interested you are in a topic, the more interesting your piece will be. Our third tip tells you how essential it is to craft a great intro for your blog. When it comes to writing, there's a common structure that works best for most blogs. Your piece should have an intro followed by several subheadings and a conclusion. Of course, it doesn't always work with everything, like for excerpts or short stories. However, it's a good idea to break your blog into smaller chunks, since it encourages your readers to continue until the end. Your intro sets the tone for the rest of the blog, so you shouldn't take writing it lightly. Just like your headline, it's crucial to fit in a good amount of information. When it comes to the introduction, it's not about teasing your readers, it's more about explaining what your blog has to offer. You only have 15 seconds to grab the attention of your readers, so make those first few sentences count. For our fourth tip, it's important to create useful and emotional content. This means two potential things. Either your reader will find a solution, the question's answer, or new information, or your reader will get an emotional response that will likely lead them to share your work with others. If you're writing a how-to style blog, listicle, or review, then your audience will expect their solution, answer, or information by the end of the blog. Ideally, you should split your content into several sections while dealing with a relevant aspect of the topic for each section. If you're writing story-type blogs, or blogs about achievements, awards, rewards, or even cool incentives, your audience will experience an emotional response reading your work. Don't overdo it or exaggerate. Anything that evokes emotions from your readers is shareable content. Either way, when it comes to your blog, always keep your target audience in mind. Our last writing tip is a crucial best practice. Make it a habit to use grammar tools and SEO tools. After writing your blog, it's time to edit your work. That's right, some of these beautiful words have to go. Of course, manually editing your work is already a given since it's the only way for you to get rid of unnecessary words and overly long sentences. Other than manual edits, it's also essential for you to employ the help of software. Using an app like Grammarly or Hemingway will help give your piece a once-over and highlight any areas that may have slipped through your editing process. 
Other than grammar and sentence structure, it's also helpful to know how SEO-friendly your blog is when it's published. But again, the focus should still be on quality content rather than keyword placement. Your blog is one of the best ways for you to continuously engage with your audience, build traffic to your website, and grow your brand. Without one, it's going to be much harder for you to reach potential clients and establish yourself as an industry authority. If you're not sure where to start, why not join Scripted and sign up for a free trial? We can help you connect with some of the best writers who can help you start creating the perfect content for your blog.